next guest is sharing a guilt-free and microwave-friendly favorite that will keep us all cozy all winter long. Joining us from his home in New York City, making delicious lasagna bolognese. Yes, I said guilt-free. Please welcome back our good buddy, Chef Rocco Despirito. Hey, Rocco. Hey, Debbie, how are you? Thanks for having me. Thank I you. I can't say that I'm, I'm coming from my home because um, this is not my home. My home had a little whoopsie daisy. Oh, so boy. I had to break into someone else's home <laughs> and I'm using their living room. Hopefully they won't show up when we're shooting. As long as you leave them this I delicious- I think we're okay if we go, if yeah. we go fast, we're it, gonna be okay. Well, yeah. if you leave them the, the lasagna bolognese, I bet they'll yes, have no problem. Yes, that's a good idea. We'll just leave them a full lasagna. They'll so at the end, when I taste, I'm only gonna taste a small amount to, to make it sure it looks full. Exactly, it's like Goldilocks and the three bears. Yeah. You've broken into their yeah. house, but you're gonna leave them yeah. something as opposed to eating it. Okay, so today we're making exactly. a really delicious lasagna bolognese in the microwave, which by the way, I yes. have never tried to do. However, you say that yes. this dish has been approved by 50 Italian mothers and grandmothers, so it must be delicious. Yes, it's absolutely delicious and it's under 350 calories. And I went to Italy on two separate occasions to work with a genius chef, uh, a woman named Lucia Ercolano and her 50 friends who are all mamas who cook at home every single day, who've been cooking their entire lives. And I had them show me how to make their signature dishes and hers happened to be lasagna bolognese, the classic with the meat ragu and the bechamel sauce and the homemade la lasagna pasta. And then I asked her to help me to guide me through making one that would be less, you know, less indulgent, just a little bit less fat, a little bit less carbs. And so I came up with this no boil pasta version that uses zucchini noodles. So I get rid of a lot of the carbs and she loved it. She absolutely loved it. She approved of it. Um, I sent some pictures, hopefully you'll get to look at her. She's an absolute angel. And I've sent so many friends to her house in Italy and Sorrento since then, and they've all been just wowed by her cooking. Well, today we're gonna be wowed by your recipe as well, and I love the fact that you really, so. you can make this anywhere, just like you said, as long as you have a microwave, yes. we are good to go. So over here, microwave, I'm gonna let you walk little, me through it. Little burner. I'm gonna let yes. you walk me through it because so, you we're, are we're, the, the chef here and I'm simply your student. I will say, no problem. we have already browned some ground beef over here, and it appears that we've added tomatoes and some basil. That's right, so it's ground beef, and you don't need much fat, a little bit of olive oil to start, but the beef, uh, even though it's 96% lean beef in the recipe, it will still have some fat, uh, so don't need to add much more. In the recipe, I basically took every opportunity I could to reduce the amount of fat, reduce the amount of carbs, reduce the amount of added sugar, and I really was able at the end to make sure that added up to a big reduction in calories and junk carbs. So we add basil to the sauteed beef, Okay. And then we add chopped tomatoes of any kind, any kind of chopped tomatoes that you like, or tomato passato or puree, as long as it has no sugar added, we'll be fine. We'll work for this recipe. And okay. that just goes in there, and we allow that to simmer and sizzle and pop like it will do. And then we season it with salt and pepper, some sea salt. I like to use sea salt. Uh, you, could, you could add a little bit more olive oil if you want to make it a little more indulgent. It's up to you. Uh, this is... This is a dish that is absolutely guilt-free, but if you want to make it more indulgent with the holidays coming up, you can. So with lasagna bolognese, there's two sauces. There's the ragu, which is a meat sauce of some kind. That's the one we just made. That's right. And there's a white sauce, usually bechamel. Now, as you know, bechamel is made with butter and flour and sometimes half and half, sometimes heavy cream. So it's really rich in carbs and fat, just fat that we don't need. So what I did here is I took skim milk, and I thickened it with arrowroot. Now, arrowroot is literally a plant called arrowroot. When you dry out the stem, it produces a powder that is a thickening agent, much like cornstarch. Okay. So the and arrowroot is healthier for you than the flour? Yes, the arrowroot is much healthier for you than the flour because uh, arrowroot can absorb 10 to 20 times more than flour can. Uh, so you need to use much, much less. And you're and really not going to notice the difference works. in the flavor, really. I, you do, this lasagna is so delicious, Debbie. Wait till you try it. You will, I guarantee you won't notice the difference. Uh, so basically the white sauce is sort of like a glue. It sort of helps bind everything together. But you do have to add some Parmigiano-Reggiano to the sauce. Okay. That is a flavor that we could not go without. We've Parmigiano already Reggiano, done that. already pretty healthy. We've already done that to ours. It's so now healthy. we're gonna start to with, build. Yep. Yeah, so, so we, started, we started to build. 
We're using these no boil lasagna noodles. Okay. These are available in every store now. When I wrote this book, they were a little hard to find, but now they're super easy to find. They literally cook in the sauce. And I've already calibrated this recipe so that there's enough moisture to cook the noodles. So Beautiful. a little light layer of, you can see I'm halfway through. I've already done two layers of lasagna, zucchini, white sauce, red sauce, basil. And we're gonna do the next layer. A little bit of the red sauce. Okay. Now, if you wanted to use chicken or pork or any other meat, you could. If you didn't want to eat meat, you could just use a tomato sauce and it would work fine. Or what about mushrooms? Uh, white sauce. Mushrooms would be amazing in this recipe. In fact, I do have a lasagna recipe with no boiled noodles that's made with mushrooms in another one of my books. And now uh, some basil. Basil's really important. You know, when you're getting rid of some of the textures and flavors that you get from butter and flour and sugar and all those things, uh, herbs like basil will really be handy. So now we're gonna use these uh, zucchini slices that I've microwaved for about three minutes. They're gonna okay. form a full layer on this lasagna. And then uh, we top it with sure the bechamel? With salt and pepper. Top with the bechamel uh, again? We'll just do another round. Yes, that's right. Yep, another red and white. Um, red can and I white ask you? Plus basil. <laughs> If, yes. you, if you wanted to maybe get rid of some of the um, Parmesan, could you, use, yes. um, could you use nutritional yeast? Yes, you could. Nutritional yeast would work really, really well in here. Uh, even vegan parm. Uh, I've, I've seen vegan cheeses made from cashew that would work really, really great oh, in, nice. in this recipe. Okay, and then we just do one more layer of no boil noodles. So this could be vegan or vegetarian very easily. You could substitute the meat with mushrooms. I see where you're going, Debbie. I'm, I'm going to the microwave. You're, you're trying to see how we... <laughs> so how long is it going to the microwave, okay, cool. Rocco? So we got, make sure you wrap it with a layer of plastic. That's right. Two, and then it goes in. Which I was goes sort of surprised that you wrap it with the plastic wrap. For about wrap. 15 minutes. Yeah, well, you got to keep the, the moisture in so that the noodles absorb the moisture and it doesn't evaporate. Excuse me while I go to the microwave and pull out my finished dish. Mine's right here, Rocco. It's so good. <laughs> so after the microwave, I like to put it in a broiler. This is really hot, by the way. Uh, in a broiler to brown the top. So I hope you can see this. Oh, really it's really want you beautiful. to get a nice shot of this. Look at that. Isn't it amazing? Oh my it's God. like a magic trick. It like really trick. is. I cannot wait All to right. taste this. I have to tell you, when I heard microwave lasagna, I thought, wait a second. But I, I'm a convert, and I haven't even cool. tasted it. Look how beautiful it is. I'm going in. Go in, go in, let me know. All right, let's see, here Just I go. Pull out a slice. Oh, that's beautiful, and the zucchini is a really nice touch. Look at that. I mean, it just looks, it looks like a perfect lasagna. You know what's nice about the, no boil lasagna is that it forms better, and so your lasagna doesn't slide around as much uh, as a traditional lasagna. Rocco, it doesn't Let's just taste. look. Are you, ready? Are you tasting? I'm tasting. It does. It just doesn't mm. look like a perfect lasagna. Mm, 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 it also mm. tastes like a perfect lasagna, Rocco. Thank you so much. This was that fantastic, was and good You're to welcome. see you. And good luck with your Thank kitchen. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. For the full recipe, yeah. you all can head on over to HallmarkChannel.com. And for more from Rocco, be sure to visit him on social media.